presentation, we're going to discuss the importance of using negotiated rates. Negotiated rates are discounted rates offered to a company based on the volume of business they agree to provide the selected vendor. Currently, MAT Holdings has negotiated rates in place with the following vendors. American Airlines, United Airlines, Holiday Inn Express, Marriott, and Enterprise. A couple of the current challenges that we face are travelers are not researching and requesting travel with vendors that offer negotiated rates. In addition, managers are approving travel requests with more expensive options versus travel expenses utilizing travel vendors that offer negotiated rates. According to the MAT travel policy, employees will make use of the most cost-effective means available for transportation between destinations. MAT generally receives a discounted rate when booking air travel via American Airlines and United Airlines. However, in cases where a competitive airline is offering a lower discounted fare to specific destinations, use of the competitive airline is encouraged. Employees are to use the preferred hotels unless there is a compelling reason not to. And that would include no availability, a comparable but less expensive hotel is available, or a location is not feasible for business purposes. MAT has a contract with Enterprise and National Car Rental, which offer discounted rates. In order to receive this benefit, MAT has agreed to use them as its primary vendors. As such, all employees are expected to use them for business trips when possible. Any exceptions must be noted on the expense report and approved by the employee's manager in advance. Now let's take a look at some slides that show us some comparisons between negotiated rates and published rates. What we're looking at on this slide are some comparable rates for airlines. On the left-hand side of the screen, we can see we have negotiated rates with American Airlines for a flight from Fort Lauderdale to Los Angeles with the cost coming in at $554. To the right of the screen, we have a published rate for the same exact flight, not using the negotiated rate, and the total cost is coming in at $1,054. When taking a look at hotel costs, on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see the rate of $83 per night, and this was priced using the negotiated rate. On the right-hand side of the screen, we have the hotel's standard published rate, which comes in at $101 a night, which we can see is more expensive when we're not using the corporate negotiated rate. Now taking a look at rental cars, we can see with the negotiated rate, our price came in at $203.55 for the week. Without the negotiated rate, the price comes in at $214.26 per week for the rental car. Here is a visual representation of the rates we just viewed in the previous slides. As we can see, using the negotiated rates gave us a savings with the airlines of $500, the hotel $90, and the rental car $11. This gives us a total combined savings of $601 for this trip. In conclusion, MAT purchased $1.5 million in travel last year. That total included both negotiated and published fares. Travelers will still receive all of their benefits, including reward points when using negotiated rates. Negotiated rates offer MAT substantial savings when it comes to the cost of air, hotel, and car rentals. If we don't utilize our negotiated rates, vendors will cancel their contracts with MAT. Over the next year, we'd like to see management and employees make more use of our company's negotiated rates with travel vendors. This presentation will be revised and updated on an annual basis.